Alright, we are up. Found the hardware. Let's take a look. So, we show the um, AMD Phenom 2X4830 processor 2.71 gigahertz. And I'm going to try see if we can push it to 3.4 because I had the Simpron running at 3.4 and it was also 2.7. But we'll see if we can do it. Um, it may run a little hot. We may have to back it down a little bit. The Simpron overclocks easier than the quad core. We've got a pretty good. Uh, heat sink and fan though. This uh, Cooler Master, I don't remember the model, but it's um, it's actually a really good one because the, uh, the copper heat pipes directly touch the uh, processor. So it really, you know, pulls the heat off the processor really well. Restart it. Okay, we're in the motherboard intelligent tweaker CPU CPU host clock control. Change that to manual. And from there we've got multiplier of thirteen and a half. 13 is 3.3. Let's try 13 and a half. This is without messing with voltage or anything else. So we're at like 3.44 gigahertz. All right, so overclock is done, and it is running at. Um, let's see. Here. I've got Prime 95 running and Speed Fan. Um, we are running at 3.44 gigahertz, so we've moved up about 0.7 gigahertz, and that's on air. You know, no liquid cooling or anything. Um, just with the Cooler Master uh, heat sink and fan. So I've had this running for a while now, and it's kept the CPU maxed out. You can see all four cores here are maxed out, and our temperature, um, I want to say that temp 2 and 3 are probably the processor also, and this core, and they show, you know, they have little flames there, but um, anything, you know, even if I was running 60 degrees Celsius, I'd still be safe. Um, probably 65 is probably the max um, you'd want to go, but I feel real safe staying under 60. And this is with uh, stock voltage. Um, I didn't have to bump the voltage up. Normally when you bump the voltage up, you get more heat. But it's running stable at the, the stock voltage and I just bumped the uh, multiplier up to get to 3.44 gigahertz and so far it, you know it's stable it's been running like this for a while and the the heat came up but the uh, 
Cooler Master uh, fan. Um, you know, I've got fan control turned on, so the fan sped up, and it's keeping it fairly cool. I mean, the heat sink itself is not that hot, but it's staying right in the 54. You can see this is bumping right along at 57, 58. Just went down to 56. And honestly, I mean, real world use, I'm probably not going to stress it near as much as Prime 95 is. 55, let's drop some. So, I feel safe leaving it here. We'll close Prime 95. You should see CPU usage go way down in just a minute, and the temperature should go way down. It was running in the background. Stop it. We'll exit. And CPU usage went down to nothing, and the temperatures are falling fast. So I think we're in good shape. And we'll run it right here and see um, how it's doing. I've since I uh, turned off the second core on that Simperon when I had it installed. Um, I had some blue screens with the second core turned on. But after I turned that second core off, I never, I've never had a blue screen on this computer, so we'll see if it runs stable, see if it ever freezes. I've never had it freeze up before either. Um, so if it freezes up or blue screens or, you know, we get some weird stability issues, um, I may have to uh, back the clock speed down just a little bit. But I think we're in pretty good shape. So I'm going to close this and... We're good to go.